For three years, I switched my partner's tea in the morning because I couldn't deal with his fake snobbery. Back in the days when my ex and I were in the lovey-dovey phase, I had this sweet routine, making him a morning cup of tea. It turned into a little tradition that stuck around for the entire three years we were a couple. There's something special about those small gestures that can brighten someone's day, and it was also a subtle way to get to know his preferences. My morning tea was a simple affair, any tea bag that happened to be lying around, Yorkshire tea if it was on sale, a splash of milk, and the initial cup always had a teaspoon of sugar. After that, it was just the tea and milk combo. My ex, however, had a whole ceremony around his morning tea ritual. It had to be Thompson's Punjana tea, a precise teaspoon of milk, and absolutely no sugar. According to him, he could tell in an instant if his morning cup of didn't meet these exact specifications. He was quite passionate about it, and at the ripe age of 33, he hadn't found any other tea that could match the sophistication of Fortnum and Mason Royal Blend. In the early stages of our relationship, when he occasionally stayed over at my place, I played along with his tea preferences. Thompson's Punjana tea, a bit of milk, and no sugar, just the way he liked it. He would express his gratitude, praising me for making the best cups of tea, and it was all charming. Fast forward a few months, and he practically moved into my place, making his daily tea demands more frequent and demanding. As a struggling student, consistently buying the specific brand of tea he fancied became financially challenging. Besides, what was wrong with PG tips or any regular supermarket tea? After all, tea is tea. So, I decided to conduct a little tea experiment. I started making his cup with any available tea bag, a bit of milk, and no sugar. I was sneaky about it, ensuring I brewed his tea while he was still in the shower or sound asleep, minimizing the chances of getting caught. Initially, he was suspicious, always double-checking if it was Thompson's Punjana tea, he insisted on using the full name to highlight its quality. After a few trials with different teas, I found the sweet spot where he couldn't taste the difference. I even joined him in sipping the tea, emphasizing the supposed quality and uniqueness of his chosen brand. When we took the leap and moved in together, my little tea charade became more challenging to maintain. I had to get even more creative. Managing the weekly food shopping became my responsibility as I juggled college life, and I wanted to limit grocery runs to save money for more exciting things, like meals out. I strategically bought one bag of his tea and two of my preferred kind every week, stashing them in the drinks cupboard. During the morning tea routine, I'd pocket one of his special tea bags, replacing it with one of mine. To cover my tracks, I'd give my college tutors his tea to drink during the day. He'd comment on how quickly I ran out of my tea bags because of its exceptional quality, boasting that Panjana's longevity was truly unmatched, little did he know. This tea charade continued for a couple of years, and I kept the whole operation hush-hush. It was a cost-effective and mildly amusing venture. I never allowed him to make a cup of tea unless I was away, ensuring my secret remained undiscovered. After our romantic escapade came to an end, we managed to maintain a friendship. Whenever I visited our old flat, he'd request a cup of tea made the way I used it for old times' sake. He reminisced about how no one else could recreate the magic, claiming that when he tried making it himself with Punjana, it just never tasted right. To this day, I've kept the tea charade under wraps, finding amusement in his belief that I possess some extraordinary tea-making talents. It's our little untold tea secret, and I don't plan on spilling the tea anytime soon.